all right what's up odyssey what's up youtube how you guys doing today it's me corey and today vlog number one for the week it's thursday so i gotta get to it <laughs> uh basically this vlog right here i want to talk about how i got here uh basically just coming back from jamaica had a great trip with the wife um, met up with a lot of friends out in Jamaica that we've known and met over the last nine years or so and um, just reconnecting with them and telling them about my story about how I got to where I am at the moment they were very interested and wanted to know exactly how I got here and what it started with and you know I have a story of how I got here but I really took some time to think about how I really got to where I'm at which is retired from my nine to five and um, you know involved in investing so I said the first thing that actually happened to me, there was a guy I met some time ago, about six years or so ago. And guy was, he was working with, the, um, what's the, it's a pill group. I forgot what it's called. Not a pill group. Um, but they sell medicine. They sell vitamins and herbs, Herbalife. That's what it was. So he worked for Herbalife and it was him and his friend, uh, Henry, um, he introduced me to him. He said, hey, man, you looking for a way to make new, more money? Of course. That's what I was looking for all this time. Uh, outside of gambling and all that other stuff, I was looking for a way that could be sustainable. And that's what he was saying. Um, I had a meeting with him at a Starbucks. We chatted up for a while. And he said, listen, if you want to get into this business, I suggest you read this book, which was the Robert Kiyosaki book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he also gave me the updated version of how to work in a digital age. It was the same thing, but just a newer version. And um, basically what happened was, read the book, it was very informative. It made me think about what type of person I wanted to be. Did I want to be an employee? Did I want to be an owner? Did I want to be an entrepreneur? Did I want to be an investor? I think, were, I think those were the four categories, okay? I gotta refresh myself, but great book to read. I would suggest anyone to read that. Um, it got me into the mindset of what I wanted to be, because I'm like, I, I don't, I want my money to work for me. An investor was the only thing. I was an employee. Uh, management didn't interest me. Entrepreneurship um, was something I was looking into and looking forward to try to you know work with to s substitute what I'm doing in my nine to five. But um, I, the investing route just went a lot better for me. It, it took time, just like anything else, to study and understand the space, understand the terminology, and then get hip to what's going on. Um, for me, like I said, I started off with traditional stocks, understanding those. I did Forex for a little bit. Um, then I started looking into ETFs and those type of investment uh, instruments. And I found out after a while, like, listen, I'd rather invest in something that's solid like a stock or a company that I use or I patronize because it's, that money's coming back in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And uh, if it's popular enough for me to invest in it or to buy it, others are going to feel the same way to a degree. So, tried to go that route for a moment. Got a few stocks, but not enough to really say I'm going to be able to retire off of them. And then I came across crypto, you know. And as I came across crypto, I understood the, the one thing that stood out to me about cryptocurrency was that they were talking about Bitcoin and that it was the fastest appreciating asset known to man. Now, I'm studying assets. I'm studying real estate. I'm studying stocks. I'm studying uh, just businesses and how they work how they you can buy and sell them as well and i just looked at them and i said listen if this is the fastest appreciating that appreciating asset known to man asset class known to man i need to really find out about that so i dove into that um follow some youtubers uh, just to get their perspective understand the terminology understand the space get perspective from each individual and i, I wound up with just a few uh people that i followed that they're, you know, what they're talking about is from experience. Uh, they have a pretty good pulse. They have a pretty good, you know, feel of the pulse of the, the, the network of the space, cryptocurrency. And one of them was the modern investor. Another guy was Trevon James and uh, a few other people that were in the space. And I took their, not their advice, but what they were talking about. And I correlated to what I knew. I was tapped into news feeds and still am. Uh, just to understand what's going on. And as I slowly but surely got to understand it, I had to get in the space with, you know, my money. And when you get in with your money, you pay more attention to things. And again, I got scammed 
bad code, bad projects, bad products, bad CEOs. It just was a litany of things that just didn't add up, but they were a learning experience. Learning enough to find out what not to get into. So, again, came to that conclusion, found Hex, Richard Hart, that's the end of the story right there. But, um, yeah, man, that was how I kind of got into crypto. And as of, as of recently, I just read the book uh, Rich, Richest Man in Babylon. And that actually has the, the framework of how to actually stay save and earn more money from the money you have. I would suggest to read that book as well. It was a great read, and it, it details everything of how you should save and how you should invest. Um, Yeah. That's how I got to where I am, man. Staying vigilant uh, over the last six, seven years, uh, looking into alternative investments, alternative ways to earn and make money, and finally tripping up on something where my money was involved in and was able to earn me enough for me to retire and do what I have to do. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. Um, I am gonna make a little vlog about my trip to Jamaica. Uh, spent about four days out, five days out there. Was only really uh, there for about three because we traveled in on one day, traveled out on the other. So the three in the middle, the one we really chilled with. And uh, yeah, but I had a great time nonetheless. Uh, my friends out there had a retirement party for me. Oh man, I felt so special, man. And uh, it was a special time, you know, about six of my friends. Good times, man. But with that being said, I'll document some of it in my next vlog. Hope everyone's having a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, guys. Peace.